there's going to be this question whenever we talk about the individual. There's always going to be this question of what the place, if any, uh, the individual has in the wider community. That's why I picked it. Community, noun, old French. You guys, uh, all the word of the podcast people, the fans that are always uh, messaging me about it, they know. They know that many of the words of the podcast come from the old French. We might mix it up a little bit All later. All right, that's enough. That's never that's enough of the words. It's never <laughs> enough. Do not. I'm putting a cap on that. I just also want to suggest that there is an authoritarian streak within you, which is clearly shown. Well, you have to understand that that's the point of this book, is that every individual has the propensity for authoritarianism within to come out. Without. Yeah, well, you really and, um, do a good job at uh, showing that. Well, that's why I understand authoritarianism so well, because I am quite familiar with my own inner authoritarian. OK, so that's a strength. Thank you. Now, we're the podcast. Wonderful. Done. Buried. Moving on. The thing about escape from <laughs> the thing about escape from freedom is that what people have to understand, like if I could give a takeaway of this book, it would be that authoritarianism is is like it's seen as a system, right? A system of government. That's how we understand it is that it's inherently just a system of government that is oppressive, whatever. It comes over, it takes things over and then that's it. End of freedom. That's not accurate. And that leads to a dangerous misunderstanding of how authoritarianism grows. It is more almost of a personality. I would liken it more to a personality. <laughs> I I would too. That <laughs> that when embraced by a, a culture largely brings about the system. Cuz there's always the propensity for someone to take that power as an authoritarian in any country or any system. What keeps that away isn't so much that there isn't some authoritarian leader that's trying to get there. It's that people reject it. So when you have populations that embrace authoritarianism for reasons that we will get into soon, that's when you get it. So it's it, re realistically, and this is so crucial to understanding this book and understanding the point of history we are in right now, particularly in the United States, is that you will get authoritarianism anywhere if the population wants it. I mean, we will be putting our own system of government to the test to see how that goes, because right now I think you have seen a, a, an unnerving unleashing of people's inner authoritarian particularly because it's under the guise of that uh, pernicious little idea of public health. So there is no better cover for the inner authoritarian than protection and goodness and all that. It's like, oh, we're going to take all your freedoms away because it's for your benefit. That is, and again, I come back to that Plato quote constantly in this podcast. When a tyrant first appears, they are a protector. It's a, it's a paraphrase, but that's essentially it. So this is the important thing is to understand that Freedom comes with, and this is a, a Viktor Frankl idea, freedom comes with responsibility. But Frum goes farther to say that there is almost two different kinds of freedom. So there's the negative freedom, right? Which is freedom from. You're free from the, the oppression of the state, the subjugation of rulers. Um, you're free from uh, uh, oppressive laws and whatnot. But freedom, too, is what people fail to do. And when you fail to use your freedom now, not just to be free from oppression, but you have to use that freedom in a way that develops your individuality. That's what freedom is for. When that's not properly used, you get this in-between situation where people are in limbo, where they're not quite an individual enough to stand on their own and feel secure but they're not in the older systems that used to annihilate the individual where you didn't need to bother with that freedom too. You didn't have it. You were part of a group. You were part of a guild. You were part of a, a, a nation or whatnot. And so there was no developing the individuality. So here, let me, let me open with a quote from this book. Um, 
The crisis of democracy is not procure peculiarly Italian or German problem. Oh, I messed up the quote. Sorry. Hold on. I don't know why it's typed wrong. The crisis of democracy is not a peculiarly Italian or German problem, but one confronting every modern state, nor does it matter which symbols the enemies of, free of human freedom choose. Freedom is not less endangered if attacked in the name of anti-fascism than in the name of fascism. That's a really important little quote from this book. Because I, I don't know what it is, but for some reason, people don't believe that communism is authoritarian. I mean, they are. These are two sides of the authoritarianism spectrum. This is why I am against both, because both sides should leave everybody the fuck alone. So any authoritarian, I don't care what the, the ethos behind it or like what he says, not the, the, the symbols or the ideology or the name. It's the same um, system that takes freedom from the individual for whatever purpose it says it's going to do. Well, you always have this dynamic of these two broadly defined systems of, say, the extreme left, the extreme right, or communism and fascism. And you always have this dynamic that uh, one is always offering protection to the populace against the other. And, and then, unfortunately the the population ends up being manipulated kind of like a ping pong ball knocked back and forth between the two and they're always they're usually i should say always trying to to offer something up but it's always it's always in relation against something else yeah and that's an interesting uh that's an interesting thing that it's it kind of has that resemblance of from's idea of negative freedom which is well, we'll free you from that those people, that ideology, whatever. But what freedom do you get to do something? That's where it's vague. Um, and of course, all the, those protections come at a trade. Um, it's an exchange. Well, you give us a little of your freedom and we'll protect you from communism. We'll protect you from fascism. We'll protect you from uh, that group over there that you don't like, whatever it is. And um, and that's that's one of the the um, a characteristic of pan political manipulation and uh, unscrupulous leaders, in my opinion, uh, this, you know, focus on, well, we're going to save you from this. We just need a little bit of uh, a little more power to do it. Like, fuck you. That's it. Like, do it the way you can now or don't do it. 